Hi everyone, for my vlog today, I have decided to talk about one of my most favorite eyeshadow palettes that I have in my kit all the time. And it is actually this Lekat um, from Chanel in the color Claire Obscure. It is in number 308. So as you can see, it's a very nice palette of brown shades. And we have a mix of warm and neutral colors, which is actually perfect to use to add definition or even like a hint of drama on the eyes. Now the reason why I decided to talk about this right now is because first, like ever since I got this, I didn't talk about this here on my channel. And second, because of a lot of like, you know, limited edition releases that Chanel has been doing this past like, you know, few months, I think it's time for us to give some love to their eyeshadow palettes from their permanent collection, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna flip my camera over and let's watch these babies, okay? So this is how the Claire Obscure palette looks like up close. As you guys can see, we have four brown eyeshadow colors here, two of which are warm and two are neutral. So it's actually a very balanced brown eyeshadow palette. Okay, so I'm going to swatch these colors right now and we'll start from the lightest all the way to the deepest, okay? And I'm going to start with this color first. Now this one has a very yellow tone to it. And if I'm just going to swatch it here on my arm, as you guys can see, it's almost like the color of my skin. And if I just rub it, it blends very nicely into my skin. So this is actually a very perfect, like, you know, color to use just to add evenness in your eyelid, especially if you have purple tones on your eyelid or even pink, because this creates a very nice canvas and it just, like, you know, mimics the color of skin. It's actually a very nice color. Look at that. It has practically disappeared into my skin. Very, very nice. Okay, the next shade I'm going to swatch is this color color here. So this one has a very nice like you know gray tone to it and I am going to swatch it right here okay. So as you guys can see it has a very neutral tone to it. This is a perfect shade to use if you want to enhance your socket line or your crease or if you just want to add a very nice hint of brown on your eyes and it's matte. Very nice color and this is actually a good color to blend out any of the colors that we see here on this palette. Very easy to blend as well. Okay, the next color that I'm going to swatch is this warm tone brown here. Look at that. And I'm going to do it here. So as you guys can see, it's quite a very nice brown color. And it's more warm than this brown here. So I really like this red tone because the red tones in this will work very well in like, you know, counteracting with the green tones like, you know, the green undertones of my skin. It's like, you know, the color just really pops out from my skin. Again, very easy to blend. Look at that, very even, very well balanced. Okay, and the last color that we have here is this very intense shade, this very nice sooty neutral brown. And then I'm gonna swatch it here. Look at that, look how even that is. Like, you know, the way that the pigment just lays on my arm. And if we blend it out, Look at that, very nice blending, still very smooth and very even. That's a perfect color to use if you want to enhance your upper or your lower lash line. Very nice color. So it's quite obvious that this is a matte eyeshadow palette. And this is actually, I think, pressed into form. So it is not a big gelée formula. And even if this is like, you know, a matte eyeshadow and it's not in a big gelée formula, the formulation is actually very creamy. Like, you know, when I was just like, you know, feeling it with my fingertips and when I was just like, you know, rubbing it here on my arm, they almost act like they're very, very creamy. So that's what makes this eyeshadow palette actually very easy to blend, very easy to pick up, and very easy to build up on the eyes and before we flip the camera over the packaging of this comes in the very nice black laminated um, like you know packaging very mirrorized very lovely and of course this still comes with a like you know dust pouch now by the way um, this came with two like you know sponge tip applicators which I have saved here on my desk so let's now flip the camera over and let's start using the Claire Obscure on my eyes. So before we try this Claire Obscure palette on my eyes what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a hint of makeup first maybe some foundation concealer and maybe some blush just to add some color into my face and so that it just looks like you know, nice when we start taking like, you know, a playing with this um, palette from Chanel and what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom over the process just so that it doesn't take up so much of my time Okay, and also my everything everything that I'm using on my face today is listed on the description box So go check it down below, okay? <laughs>
Okay, so now that I have just like you know, my makeup down, I have some blush, highlighter, concealer, and some eyebrows. The sun is coming out. Yay, I love that. And let's proceed with the application process. Okay, so the first thing that I always like to do is I actually like to use an eye base. And this is the Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base from NARS. And the main reason why I love to do it is, well, first and foremost, I have oily skin. And this product just ensures that everything that's on my eyelid just stays on longer. And also, when I think, if you look at my eyes, my eyelids, like, you know, my fold almost hits my lashes. So this means that I have so much, like, you know, um, friction going on my eyelids. And this product just enables my eyeshadows to actually stay put longer on my eyelids. So I'm just going to brush a very thin layer of this eyeshadow base all over and blending it out thinly as I near my brow bone area. Okay, now that my eyeshadow base is down, it's time for us to play around with this. So it's a very nice palette and like, you know, it's a very nice, like, you know, supplement to your eyeshadows, especially if you have a lot of like, you no know, shimmer eyeshadow colors in your collection. And if you just need like, you know, a small palette to help you add definition and like, you know, some enhancement on your eyes, this is actually perfect. Okay, so I'm going to start by using this color. So this is the lightest shade on the palette here. And this is the one that I'm going to use as an all over base color on my eyelid and this has a very nice like you know yellow tone to it so it's uh it's a little bit warm which is actually great because it just also adds some brightness so as you guys can see my eyelid is now quite bright it's also quite awake and this is actually a nice one and done eyeshadow if you just want to be very minimal with your like you know um, eyeshadow look for the day and you don't really need to go overboard because sometimes like you know the natural shadows that is cast by your eyelid can already work well for you but you know in this day and age people want to enhance their eyes some more so what we're going to do is we're going to continue so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this shade first so as you guys can see it's a very neutral color as i showed you on the swatch earlier so this is the one that i'm going to use to add like you know some initial depth into my socket line so let me just um press my brush lightly here and as you guys can see it's very well loaded into this brush head and i'm just going to slowly run the brush along my socket line i'm just following my socket line here and as you guys can see it's already adding a very nice soft definition on my eyelids and it's also helping me to create a very nice lift for my eyes now what i find so nice about this color is that although it looks like you know inherently neutral there's actually a hint of warmth in it which actually works for me because i have a hint of olive tones in my skin tone and this warmth in the eyeshadow just really like you know helps to like really pop on my eye and it just like you know um like it, it brings some life into my eye which i actually like so as you guys can see it's actually very easy to blend out this formula you don't really need a lot of effort to do it like you know and it's a very chanel kind of like a formulation wherein um you don't really get a ton of pigment but you just get the right amount of pigment to actually do the job so that's the kind of pigmentation that i find um, across most of chanel's like you know permanent eyeshadow collection okay so that's my initial um transition color down and let's continue to enhance this eye some more okay so now let's use this very nice warm toned eyeshadow color here and i'm going to be using a much more smaller like you know um crease brush for this so this is the crease m brush from the new fundamental eye series from sonia g and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to emphasize my socket line some more to add more depth there and also for more like you know intensity okay so i'm just blending out everything and of course because like you know my eyes if you look at me um it's a little bit downturn so what i'm going to do is i need to create a lift for my eye and what i'm going to be doing right now is i'm just going to gradually build the intensity and also the shape, ensuring that I am applying the eyeshadow colors in an outward and upward motion. Okay, look at that. Very nice. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a blending brush. Okay, and this is a Hakuhodo brush. I forgot the number of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this nice neutral shade again. And then 
I'm just going to add a little bit of that here in the outer portions of my eyes just so that we have a nice blend of color there and I'm just going to use the brush in an upward motion just so that we create a very nice lift. So look at that very nice hint of neutral brown colors and also a hint of warmth and it's already like you know emphasizing my eyes and lifting my eyes. So I really love this. Super, 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 super. Okay, so now let's try that deepest shade on this palette. So it's a very nice, like, you know, uh, very neutral brown. So it's a, uh, it even like, it, it has a very nice hint of gray in it that really like, you know, adds intensity in like, you know, specific portions of your eye where you actually want to add more depth and definition. And for this look on this eye, I'm going to apply this on my upper lash line. So as you guys can see, I have picked up the color here on the brush head. And I'm just going to lightly tap it along the lash, lash line. And as you guys can see, it's already giving my upper lash line a very nice hint of definition. Okay, so I'm just going to tap off the excess here on my hand because I've already seen some fallout. And that usually happens when you're using matte eyeshadow colors because, like, you know, matte eyeshadow colors don't have a lot of binders in them. Because if the matte eyeshadow colors has a lot of binders, you will not get this kind of color payoff on your eyeshadow look. And now I'm going to be getting a smaller pencil brush. This is from Hakuhodo, the G5515 brush. And with the same color, I picked up a little bit of that and I'm going to apply that here into like the inner corner of my eyes. Look at very, that very nice intense brown color. Nice hint of definition on my upper lashes. And then what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna buff that a little bit and I'm gonna smoke it out just a little bit just so that it creates a very nice, you know, soft haze of color around my upper lash line. And then what I'm gonna do is with the pencil S brush, did I get the name right? I can't see it. Yeah, pencil S. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this, like, you know, very nice warm brown color. And then I'm going to apply that here on top of the deep brown eyeshadow that I used earlier. And this will just create a very nice cohesive look for our nice matte eyeshadow application of this palette on my eyes. So again, blending is the key. You know, to further open up my eyes, I'm going to get this nice brown shade again. And with this Chikohodo smudger brush, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a little bit of that here on my lower lash line, concentrating the color here on the outer portion of my lower lash line, just to help open up my eyes a little bit. Then I'm just going to press it lightly and building intensity lightly. And then I'm going to get the brush that I used to apply like, you know, the deepest color on this palette. And I'm going to apply it here on the outer portions of my lower lash line. Just so that I get a hint of depth of color there. And I'm going to blend it well into the brown shade. And just like that, my eyes is now like, you know, softly enhanced and defined and I love it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a hint of mascara if I can find it. Okay, I'm going to apply this all over my upper lashes and then I'm going to add more of the mascara here in the outer portions of my upper lashes because this will also help create a lift and this will add some volume into my lashes. Look at that. And it's already working very well with the neutral tones of this Claire Obscure palette from Chanel. Look at that. So I'm actually basically done, like, you know, on a personal taste. This is how I like to wear it. But if you're someone who likes to use a lot of, like, you know, shimmer and glitter, this is also the right time to actually add it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a hint of, like, you know, some shimmer, like, especially here in my brow bone area. And I'm going to be using my Lisa Eldridge um, Elevated Glow Highlighter. And I'm going to be very precise with my highlighter application here on my brow bone area. And I only usually like to put it here at this part because if I drag the shimmer down, it's going to like, you know, enhance my brow bone way too much. It's going to bring my eye down and I don't really like that because you can always spend so much time trying to create a nice lift for your eyes. So you don't really need to apply any like, you know, um, excessive shimmer, especially if you have like, you know, eyes like mine wherein it's a little bit deep set and it's also like, you know, a little bit downturned. And when that um, 
you know, Elevate and Glow highlighter has set a little bit with the brush that I used earlier. I'm just going to run that one more time across my socket line, brush it well into my brow bone, and again, help create a lift. And of course, if you're someone who has a lot of like, you know, shimmery eyeshadow products in your collection, like um, one of my most favorite shimmer eyeshadow colors from Chanel. And this is from one of the tweed palettes that they released, um, like, you know, seasons ago. And I really love this, especially like this very nice golden shade here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a brush, okay, here. And then I'm just going to spray a little bit of it with... Um, some of this setting mist from Lisa Aldridge and then I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that and then I'm gonna apply that here all over my mobile eyelid. I'm just pressing it lightly. I'm not like you know buffing the color out because this has a lot of shimmer on it and if you do like a buffing motion you'll get a lot of like you know um, fall down on your upper cheeks and that's gonna give us problems. So as you guys can see, I don't know if you can clearly see it, but there's already some, like, you know, nice hint of glitter going on my eyelid. And it's blending very well with the Claire Obscure eyeshadow colors that I used on this eye. Look at that. Very nice and very pretty. And of course, we can always enhance this further. Like, you know, if you want, you can always use, like, a eyeliner pencil. If you want to intensify your upper lashes just a little bit. And with the brush that I used earlier, again, I'm just going to buff that in to the eyeshadow color and now instantly we have more definition and more depth look at that very nice okay so i'm just seeing a little bit of some fallout so i'm just gonna use a little bit of some translucent powder and i'm just gonna buff everything out now truthfully though if you are someone who has deeper skin tones than i do this palette might not work for you because the pigmentation in the shade is just way too light so if you have fair to medium skin tones this can be a nice uh, like you know adjunct into your eyeshadow collection okay all right so now let's just try to create another eye look on this eye and again i'm always going to start with the lightest shade here this will be a very nice like you know base color and i'm just going to tap it here all over my eyelid and i'm just going to blend that well into my brow bone area now it's very important that you create a very nice like you know even base of eyeshadow application on your eyelid just so that whatever powder eyeshadow that you're going to apply a little bit later it's going to blend smoothly okay all right and then now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this nice warm brown tone here and i'm going to be using the same brush and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to apply that lightly all over my eyelid here and blend that well into my socket line and into my crease then I'm going to be picking up more of the brown shade here. I'm going to flip my brush to the other end. And I'm going to apply that all over my upper lash line. Well, the area near my upper lash line. And I'm just going to blend that some more. Okay, so we can already see that there's already a nice hint of smokiness going on. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enhance my lower lash line a bit. Also with the same brown, warm brown shade. With the brush that I used earlier to apply on my, like, you know, um, other lash line here and I'm just gonna apply that all over my lower lash line and bring it all the way into my inner corners here so of course when I'm doing this I'm gonna add more intensity here in the outer portion of my lower lash line and less intensity as I get closer here and I'm also gonna tap the color well into this portion here because so I usually have a crease there and like, you know, if I don't add color there, it kind of like funks up my eye shape. So I really need to add intensity there. Now, and also I'm going to wing it out a little bit just to make it more like, you know, elongated than this one. So this one's a little bit rounder, but you can still see the shape that it's like, you know, created a very nice lift for me. Okay. And with the same brush, I'm going to be tapping onto the deepest shade now. And I'm just going to apply that all over my upper lash line. Trying to create a nice intensity all throughout the upper lash line. Lovely. Now it's time to enhance, like, you know, the crease. I'm going to pick up the deepest shade on this Clear Obscure palette. And I'm using the um, Crease M brush from Sonya G. And I'm just going to apply the color here in the outer V portion. And bring it well into my socket line. And I'm just going to blend it. And as you guys can see, it's already blending very well into the base color that I applied earlier. And the smokiness is already coming out. Okay, so I'm just continuing to blend and add more intensity. 
Okay, so now it's time to enhance the outer V portion of my eyes. So I'm going to be using the same dark neutral shade here. And with this brush, I'm just going to apply a more intense application of color there, building the color slowly, and of course incorporating that color into my socket line here, making sure to blend it nicely. Okay, and whatever is left on the brush head here, I'm going to apply that now here on my lower lashes and I'm always like you know starting here in the outer corner and bringing it into the inner corners but I'm like stopping midway just so that I don't like you know really darken this area because I plan to add some highlight there just to add more drama okay and again lift everything I still see minimal fallout which is always expected because after all, we're using matte eyeshadows here, but the fallout is not as much as I thought that it was going to be. All right, so let me just remove some of the fallout. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now let's enhance our lash line, and then I just want to add some eyeliner. So this is still a brown tone eyeliner from Lisa Eldridge. So this one is actually warmer than the... Um, color story that we have on this Claire Obscure, but I don't really mind that because they actually work very well together. So I'm not being very precise with my eyeliner application because I'm actually going to smoke it out. So with the brush that I used earlier, I'm just going to brush the edges lightly and also like you know put it at an angle and blend it upward well into like you know the outer V portions here of my eye. And now it's time to blend the edges. So with the same brush, I'm going to pick up the brown, warm brown tone here. And I'm just going to tap it on top of the eyeliner so that we have a much more cohesive, like, you know, color application and color story. And of course, blending is always a key. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Like, you know, brown tones. Very neutral. But there's also a hint of warmth that I actually love. Look at that. What do you guys think? And of course, to finish everything, we have to add some mascara because mascara always does the trick. Now, usually on myself, like, you know, as a personal thing, I only like to apply mascara on my upper lashes because I have noticed that that really helps to, like, you know, create a very nice lifted shape for me. But if you're someone who actually likes to add, like, you know, um, mascara in your lower lashes, please do it. Like, you know, there are no rules in makeup. Just enjoy the process, okay? So now that my mascara is on, I am now going to apply some of this brown eyeliner from Lisa Eldridge on my lower waterline just to enhance the smokiness and to bring everything together. So let me just brush off the excess product and blend everything. Now I'm sure you guys have noticed that I did not use any shimmery or glittery eyeshadow products to create this smoky eye look. So that to me is actually a testament on how easy it is to use a clear obscure palette. You can always like you know start light and then you can always build to the intensity that you want to. So you can always create a very nice you know softly defined eye look when you're going to the office and then at the end of the day if your workmates are saying like oh come on let's go out for some drink and you want to like you know intensify your eye look a little bit with the same palette you can just create this very nice smoky eye look and mind you I'm not using any black eyeshadow colors here well except for the mascara but everything is brown just make sure that you have a very nice like you know eye pencil that you can use to intensify your lash line of course and I think that's it and again if you want to add some shimmer and glitter on your eye you can always do it at this time so example I have this um, uh, liquid eyeshadow from Lisa Eldridge and this is a very nice bronzy tone to it and if you want to add some drama and if you just happen to have it on your collection you can always do it now with a nice fluffy airy brush like this you can just pat it on top of the uh, clear obscure eyeshadow colors that you used earlier and that instantly dresses up this eye and it makes it more like, you know, ready to hit the dance floor, if you know what I mean. And the bronzy tones of this eyeshadow is working very well, again, with the nice brown hues of the Claire Obscure palette. I love it. So let me um, add a little bit of some finishing touches. So I'm going to be using Lisa's Elevated Glow Highlighter again. And I'm going to get a nice, small, like, you know, eyeliner brush. 
and I'm just gonna add a little bit of that here in the inner corner of the eyes. Okay, it's not too glittery, but it's just, you know, right. And that way, it's not going to, like, you know, take away from this nice smoky eye look. Because if you put, like, a very intense sparkly eyeshadow there, and you have this very, like, you know, subtle smoky eye look, that's going to take away the smoky eye image of your eye, and people are just gonna look in that part. And of course, maybe just to finish out this look, I'm gonna use this nice, like, you know, a brownie lipstick from Lisa. This is in the color Kitten Mischief. So that's a very nice, you know, pinky brown shade that works very well with this smoky eye look. And it also works very well with this very nice, like, you know, softly defined eye look. And to finish everything, maybe I'm going to add a little bit more blush. And since we're, like, you know, doing this very nice brown smoky eye, I'm going to use this very nice, like, you know, warm tone blush from Laura Mercier. And this is called Fresco. And this will just work very well with this eyeshadow look. May it be the softly defined eye here or this nicely done brown smoky eye. Because this blush has a hint of warmth in it. And it also has some gold shimmer in it that works very well with this Claire Obscure palette from Chanel. Alright, so that's my vlog for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed me showing you how much I enjoy using my Le Cat Om Claire Obscure from Chanel. Now, this is actually a staple in my kit and I don't go anywhere without it. It's actually part of my security blanket when I go to work. So yeah, so that's it. So if you have any more questions about all of the products that I used today, like, you know, any more questions on how I created this soft, defined makeup look or this smoky makeup look, please let me know down in the comments box and let's have a conversation about it. Alright, so I'm gonna let you guys go now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and I hope that you're having a good day wherever you are. Bye!